It looks so good. Fuck. I didn't think it was gonna actually look this good. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I am a graphic designer based in Melbourne. If you've been watching some of my previous videos, you will know that I'm working on a bit of a project here and there where Liam and I go out, we're taking photos, full body images of models, and then we're vectorizing the clothing. So previously we have done blue, we've done the color orange, and now we're doing green. And as you just saw, we went over to the Redwood Forests in Melbourne and we took a model called Nikki and she uh, wore a nice green outfit so once I make the vector art and we get it printed it's going to be going in this spot in my room and once we do the rest on the other side we're gonna have the full fucking rainbow which I think is gonna be pretty cool so without further ado let's get straight into vectorizing this artwork there's a few things I want to mention so these were the four photos that we were deciding on which one to use for the final image obviously they're all full body we wanted to leave a little bit of padding uh, below and above the model we also were looking for some nice contrast and creasing in her clothing as this is what really looks good when it's vectorized i really liked this one but we decided against it because she's side on so we thought a front on image would look best here she is a little bit uh front on and to be honest i quite like the, the pose that she's got obviously i'll be vectorizing her shoes and her shoes are showcased really nicely here and there's heaps of creases i mean we could have done this one again this one is a very nice photo yeah again she's side on and then here she's most front on we can see that there's a lot of creasing over it over here and like as her pants kind of flow down too and just the lighting the way she's looking at the camera is we just decided to go with this one now going up here you can actually start to see the similarities and consistency of each shot they're all front on they're all looking at the camera the first thing that i'm really looking to do is the line art around the clothing and I want all of these to be as consistent as possible. So I'll go over to Maddie. I'll just have a look and see what actual stroke her pants are. And from what it seems, it's about three point in this section. I mean, I think it gets a bit thicker over here. Yeah, it does. And maybe four point. Um, but then if we drag this over to Amelia's, I think I did the stroke way a little bit thinner. It, it looks a little bit more like two point maybe three so i think to kind of just merge both amelia and maddie's artwork with now nick's and i say nick as if i've known her for ages i met her once but um nick it's a nickname it's about a nickname right i think i'll go with a three point stroke so i'm going to do the line art now uh making sure to kind of accentuate all the creasing and then once that's done we'll get into the coloring so let's do this <laughs> All right, and we finished the line work. It took me about an hour. It wasn't extremely complicated, and I don't want to be adding too much line work to this. As you can see over here, where her skin goes and touches the fabric, I like to leave a bit of a gap. I've done it uh, over here on her neck, over on her arm and stuff. You can see it helps connect the clothing and the skin, as obviously one's vectorized and one's going to be a photograph. So I just feel like it helps combine the two nicely. And then uh, I've used a combination of one point and two point for certain areas such as like the, the smaller creases over here obviously like the minor details in the shoes uh, but then I've made sure to stick with a thick three-point uh, line for the outside uh, areas just so that it kind of stays bold this is what it looks like uh, without the background so I think it's reasonably clean simple now all that needs to be done is the coloring baby and I'm so fucking keen I'm actually so excited like now that it's coming together Finally, it's just, I mean, it's the only, it's, it's only the third one, but I can, I can see it coming together.
Alright guys, it's a new day, and it's a new me. No. I finished the top part of her uh, crop top, if that's what you call it. Don't hate on me if you're a girl. And I've also done the right hand side of her dressing, her leggings, her fucking... Oh, I just woke up, I can't do this. <sighs> I've done the right hand side of the artwork. And it's looking really good. But I just wanted to run you guys through a little bit of the process in regards to how I'm doing this. Now, we'll be bringing out a tutorial teaching you guys specifically how to do this. But I want to show you. So I make sure that my top layer, which is the line art layer, is locked. The middle layer, which I'm drawing on, uh, is unlocked. And I'm using my pen tool to essentially just come behind the line art. And because it's on top, you can't actually see. Then I, what I do is I convert it to an outline. And then I'll often just easily, like quite easily, just make sure that it's geometric. Let's say we come over here and do this part. I will do that. I just need to put it, um, I don't need to go back and put it behind that line art. I can literally just go command shift and then you've got uh, that little bracket, but I've got different shortcuts. I select my shape, turn it to an outline, select my eyedropper tool, and then I'll pick a color that I think best represents whatever shade should be in that area. So right now it's kind of like that greeny, off brown kind of color. And then, uh, yeah, I pretty much do that again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And then we have a really cool vector art. I'm really keen to finish this today. So let's do it. Okay, and we finished the artwork. I mean, it didn't take me too long because as you can see, the shapes are quite big in some areas. There was a little bit of detail in the shoes. Didn't really know what to do with that print that she had on. I kind of wanted to change it because it's a bit too intricate. I don't know if people would have got the fact that they were two kind of like lovebirds and there was a speech bubble. So I made it Stash, which I think is her last name. And I've just messaged her to double check that it is. I wanted to add in the necklace as well with a cool little bling like shine. This is the before without it on. I mean, that's without the outline, which also looks fucking sick. And that's with all of it gone. So if we just add these two layers, it looks cartoonized. It's clean. It's not too in your face like, fuck, that's vector art. Because I don't want to detract from the actual amazing photo that Liam has taken too. So we did it. Let's see what Liam thinks. I'm looking. Ready? Okay, okay. Go okay. Yeah. Hold well on. That's shit. You should fucking yeah. it. No. Fucking awesome, bro. No. That is so cool. But you know what I like about it? So I did that image trace one just to see what it would look like. Yeah. But with this one that you've done, like you can you can sort of see the flow of the clothing in the way that you've like you've done the shapes vertically, like you can see that shadow like a long shadow. You can it just gives it that perspective of the clothing. I like that little shine you did on the necklace. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, just little What does it stay like there? Stash. Dash. Dash. Well, what does that mean? That's her last name. Pistachio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pistachio. Pistachio. Yeah, because oh, the green. Oh, that's the last thing. Well, there you go. The way I summarized it was, it's not super in your face. Holy fuck, this is vectorized. You know what I mean? It's subtle from a distance, which allows you, the viewer to kind of soak in the actual photograph itself, which is really nice. It's not overpowering. It's, yeah. It's subtle, but also noticeable. Yeah. The pants are going downwards, obviously, where there's creases, where her hand's in her pocket. The shapes are going horizontally because it's kind of stacking up there. Same with her top. The shapes are more horizontal because that's just the way that the flow of the dress was. And so that's what I was trying to emulate. But yeah, that, that's it, bro. <laughs> that's the third one done. Yeah, another one. Here it is. I went and picked it up today. I've got the post up with the finished artwork and I'm really keen to open this up with you guys. I decided not to open it up myself because we've got to share this moment. We've got to share it together. Ooh. Here we go. Wrapped quite nicely. I'll show you guys first. Ooh. It's really rolled up, hey. Ooh. How's it look? Woo. Turn it around. Oh, look at that. It's so sharp. Look at the quality. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I've been looking at this photo 
for well over five to six hours and it still surprises me. Oh, that's just so sick. I'm never gonna get old of this. Look at that, guys. I'm really happy with how this turned out, to be honest. Let's go chuck it up. That looks unreal. I think it's pretty straight. I mean, I don't think it needs to be perfect, but we've got all three up now. How fucking good. It looks so good. Fuck. All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This has been a fun process. Let me know in the comment section below which color we should do next. Also, let me know what environment you want to see them in, what kind of type of clothing might suit that environment as well. I'm going to be filling this whole wall behind me with the next four colors. So I didn't think it was gonna actually look this good, but um, we're doing a good job. It's been a super fun process. And with that all said and done, guys, I will catch you in the next one.